More than 20 tourists have been injured by what's been described as a lava bomb which hit a tour boat off the coast of Hawaii. The group had been watching molten rock from a volcano pour into the ocean when their vessel was struck. It's understood the boat operators had received special permission to get close to the volcano, as Richard Lister reports. It's one of the most thrilling sights in the natural world. An erupting volcano is a display of immense power and great danger. From a distance, explosions like this can be viewed relatively safely. But when nature puts on a show, there are people who want front row tickets. On Hawaii's Big Island, tour boats leave every day to watch the almost constant eruptions on the volcanic coastline. Most are allowed no closer than a few hundred meters, but more experienced crews can get closer. On the tour boat Hotspot, it was deceptively calm. People filmed the lava boiling the ocean, sending up clouds of steam. No one was prepared for this. The debris punched a hole through the boat roof, breaking a woman's leg and showering the passengers with sizzling rocks. Altogether, 23 were injured. As soon as you saw it coming, there was no time to move. And the worst part was you're in a small boat, so as you're getting pelted with this lava, there's nowhere to go. You only have like 20 feet and everyone's trying to hide in the same spot. It was, it was actually rather terrifying. Another tour boat came to help. You've seen parts of the lava on the vessel when we pulled up to it. Uh, there's a few big chunks that was on the roof and we could see chunks laying all over the side of the boat and on the floor of the boat. Back at Hilo Harbour, the hotspot had offloaded its passengers and some were taken to hospital. An inquiry is now underway into whether the rules on lava tours should be tightened. But the tour companies say the incident hasn't affected the demand for tickets. Richard Lister, BBC News.